Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am back because I wanted to share with you guys um, this Hampton Art Stamp Perfect um, tool that I just got today. Yes, I could not wait to try to use it and I wanted to um, use it with you guys. So I just took it out of the pack and it came with these two extra strong um, magnets here as well as this black foam base. And the magnets were actually on the back and I just put them on the front and um, it has like the hinges on the side and it has um, you know this plastic uh, piece with the grid on it and all that good stuff so I don't have a misty tool or anything like that um, like I said in my previous video um, I've always wanted one but it was just too expensive for me and when I heard that Michaels had this tool I ran out and I was so happy to have found this. Even the guy that was in the store didn't even realize that they were carrying this at the time. Um, I was asking him the question, and as he was saying to me, no, I don't think we got that in stock, blah, 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 I kind of looked over his shoulder, and I was like, oh, my God, there it is. And I, like, literally walked away from him, and then I had to apologize to him, and I was like, I am so sorry. You know, that was very rude, but... These, this is what I'm talking about. And he was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm glad you you know, you know, found them, and I'm glad you told me what it was. So I was very happy to have found this, and I was extra happy to have gotten this for $12.50. Yes, I used my 50% off coupon, and I got it for $12.50, which brought this um, down to a very great price for me. I'm not cheap, but, you know, I'd rather spend my money on other things, and I can't imagine spending... 50 60 dollars on a stamping tool although i think it is one of the best inventions that have come into the crafting community in a very long time but anyway with all that being said i wanted to share with you guys um, my first impression of the stamp tool and um, maybe stamp out an image and um, color it up for you guys and show you guys what it looks like. I'm not a huge stamper. I'm not the best colorer, but I do enjoy coloring. I think that it is very relaxing. Um, I like to color larger images and not very small, intricate images. I don't know why, but small, intricate images just do something to me. So anyway, um, what I have is... Um, this penny black uh oh sorry guys this penny black stamp right here and I love penny black because they do some awesome um, larger images that I can kind of color in because I have a small uh, a hard time sometimes coloring in the smaller images um, this one is called wishing you well and I have a best friend that is a nurse well I have a couple of friends um, my, my son's godmother is a nurse as well as my best friend she's a nurse she's actually a nurse practitioner so anyway I have a lot of friends that are nurses and I thought this stamp was really cute um, even to send them just thinking of you cards and stuff like that so um, what I really love to do nowadays is um, watercolor and I'm not the best watercolor or alcohol colorer but I like to color so I have this piece of watercolor paper and you guys know the watercolor paper is textured so I think this would be the best thing to use to, to try out this stamp tool to see if it really works good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the black foam piece out and the reason for that is because um, the stamp that I have has a um, foam piece on it and I think that this would interfere with um, my stamping so I cut down this piece of watercolor paper and I'm just gonna line that up inside of here I just lined it up with the bottom of this part here and I just lined it up with the lines I don't even know what size this paper is but we're gonna go ahead and use it any anyway just to see how this thing works so I kind of want to put my image off to the side a bit because um, you know just in case I want to stamp a sentiment or something right over here then I think that would be enough space to stamp it um, off for you know off to the side so I'll just lay my image right there and then I'm going to put um, the magnets on top I mean not move it and I like that it comes with the magnets I know the other stamping tool that they have out does not have magnets to it and a lot of people are using like washi tape and all that stuff but I like that this one has magnets because it seems like it holds the paper in place better so I'm just going to lower my little plastic piece down and I didn't have to like hit it really hard to make the stamp stick and the stamp is like just sticking on the back so because I'm going to watercolor or actually what I'm going to do is use my zig color 
um, markers, which are watercolor markers. I'm gonna use some Versafine. This ink right here is it says that it's good for um, watercoloring, but it's a pigment ink and it is um, called Onyx Black. So I'm just gonna use that to stamp up my stamp. And we're gonna see how this baby stamps out. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna lower this down on top of my watercolor paper and press it down in place. And, you know, just, I'm not doing it very, very hard, but I am giving it even kind of pressure. And then I'm just gonna lift that up and see how that's stamped out. And let me show you guys what it looks like. So like around like where her tie is in her pants, it doesn't look like it stamped very good there. And then like her stethoscope, the little line there didn't stamp as good as it should. So all I gotta do is just put a little bit more ink on there and that's the good thing about having this um, stamping tool is that I can re-ink my stamp and um, you know in times past what I would do is I would take a marker and like try to fill in the lines where it doesn't um, stamp or I would have to stamp my image all over again but in this case um, I can actually just you know re-ink my stamp and do it all over again and hopefully get a better image and like I said this is watercolor paper it's textured so um, you know it's hard to get a crisp image and it looks like that is a pretty good image guys that is what it looks like now and I am I'm, I'm happy with that image I think it looks really good really dark and really crisp so I'm going to um, clean my little stamp because that's another thing that I want to do in 2017 I want to take better care of all of these crafty goodies that I purchased and I want to make sure that I clean up and um, not try to make you know try not to make a huge mess everywhere which is what I do now I make a huge mess I don't know about you guys but my stuff is always everywhere like I pull out everything for some reason and I could blame it on the fact that I don't have a craft room, that I only have a craft space, so I have to go and get things and bring them to my little space, but that's not the truth. I was, I was messy in my craft room, too. So anyway, I just want to be a little bit more mindful of cleaning up my things and taking better care of my stuff. So I'm just cleaning off my stamp, and I'm just using um, some of these cleansing, cleansing wipes that I get from um, Michael's in the Dollar Spot section. Um, some people use baby wipes, same thing, um, but I, that's what I'm using to clean this up with, and um, I just keep them up in this little container that Lisa 46 made me long time ago. I love it too. Love it, love it, love it. So anyway, I'm going to put that up, and I'm going to take my image off of here, make sure that my magnets because what I heard you can't let those magnets touch because they're very strong and they will break and I don't want to break my magnets I love this board already so I'm just gonna put those there so I can store it and move this off to the side and I'm gonna let my image dry just a little bit because I am gonna watercolor and I want to make sure that, that ink is completely dry on there um, while it's drying up a bit I want to share with you guys my little color chart for my zig clean color real brush markers and I have the set of 48 I got them off of eBay for a really really good price and they're just like watercolors they um, you put the ink on and you you use water to move them around and um, so I just made myself a color chart of all the colors that I actually have this is not all the colors that they have but it's gonna do you know it's gonna do for me for now I also have actual watercolors um, but um, I don't know I like these better than the actual watercolor um, uh, the like the little pan sets that I have um, from Michaels but anyway this is my little color chart and I created it myself and I love it um, I did get one out of order which is this one here the blue gray but that's okay it should be up here somewhere but that's okay it, it still works so um, I am going to come back after I finish coloring my image and I will share with you guys what it looks like remember I am not the best colorer but I absolutely love 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 coloring so let's see how this works out all right guys I will be back
Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am back and I am done with my coloring. And this is the way that my image uh, came out. What I used was um, pale pink on the cheeks and the, um, the lips, as well as the bear's inner ear part, as well as his little cheeks. And I also used um, lilac on her um, uniform as well as uh, light gray for her jacket, her shoes, and her hat. And I used um, dark brown for her hair as well as for the bear. And I used um, oatmeal for her skin tone. And I think I did use a little bit of the dark gray. I mean very little I put it like on her little name tag right over here but um, after I put water on it it kind of lightened up a lot and so the darker gray that you see on here is actually the light gray and then I also used um, I did use the darker gray on the bottom of her shoes right down here and then I just blended that out a little bit and then um, the, the ground down here I used the light gray and I blended that out with a little bit of water so um, these brushes um, the zig clean brushes are really awesome because you don't have to use a bunch of different colors to blend with you can actually use um, one marker and kind of just blend it out with water to make the different tones and stuff but like I said I'm not really big on coloring like I'm not too good at it at all but um, this is you know I like it I like the way this came out and it's a little warped because it is watercolor so I just need to um, let it finish drying and flatten out and then I can cut this down and use it on a um, card base um, or I could leave it larger like it is and put maybe a sentiment right over here or a sentiment right up here or either, even wrap some twine around it in a bow or something like that and use it on a card. I also used some um, glitter glue on the little um, needle up here as well as the stethoscope bottom and um, as well as her little hat. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, if it's picking up on camera or not. But that is my colored image. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Um, my idea about um, the Stamp Perfect tool is I absolutely love it um, for stamping images on watercolor paper, especially um, with texture and stuff like that. It is awesome. Um, it took me two times to stamp on here and I didn't mess up my paper as with um, other times when I would stamp on watercolor paper. I would have to be very, very precise and stamp it out really good or either I would have to use... Um, one of my um, American Craft uh, pens to uh, color in the lines after I stamped it if the lines didn't stamp out all the way but in this case I think that the, the lines stamped out really good so I really like the way this came out all right guys so that is it for me again if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can happy new year everybody bye